Stand up. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is a big day for you. Sit. Stand up. Austin! This is serious! Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is very exciting for Charlie and Austin because they are officially influencers. They received their first PR package in the mail the other day and we're going to open it now together, aren't we? Are you excited? Are you excited? We have two packages, one for Charlie and one for Austin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just bonked him in the face. Oh god. Okay, so we're gonna open Austin's first. Charlie's a little bit camera shy. She's she's already run off. Now these packages are from the amazing team at Cup Naps. They got in contact with Austin and Charlie and asked if they would like to try out two of their beds. And of course, they were very keen to try out these new beds. So these beds are meant to help with anxiety. And if you guys have been watching my videos for a little while now, you'll know that Austin has recently started suffering from separation anxiety. So I am super duper keen to see how these beds go. So anyway, let's open it up. You're gonna open it. Charlie's turn. She's the hard one to impress, so we'll see what she thinks. We're gonna open this together. Look at that, it's like a little cocoon. I want one of these for myself. All right, well they're both looking pretty happy, I must say. What I love most about these beds is that the cover actually comes off so you can put it in the washing machine. We have been through so many beds that don't allow the cover to come off for easy washing and it just means that you end up having to replace the entire bed because you can't clean it properly. And no matter how many times you try and wash it or wipe it down, it's just never clean. So I absolutely love the fact that with the Pup Naps bed, you can take the cover off and chuck it in the washing machine. I absolutely love these beds. I know the dogs will too. They're so soft and so fluffy and so comfy. It's like literally a cocoon in there so the sides like stick up at the side and this bit down here is a little bit lower so they're really like snuggled up in there Austin has not moved from his from the moment he got in it so I think that's a good sign now I do have a code for you guys so if you would like to purchase your own pup naps bed you can use the code capelipty25 and that will get you $25 off so Go and check them out. I will leave a link in the description down below if you would like to go and check them out. And of course, I'll let you guys know exactly how they're going, but they seem to love them so far. Morning guys, it is now Tuesday morning. I have completely lost track of what day it is anymore, to be honest. It is currently 8.20 a.m. And I just received a package from one of my suppliers with some more stock. So I'm going to jump on my laptop and update the quantities. It's been really hard lately getting my hands on more stock for my shop because... Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. It's my washing machine. I really didn't time this well. Because everyone is in lockdown, everyone's finding more time to get crafty um, or learn a new craft. It's been incredibly hard trying to restock items in my shop. For instance, I ordered, I wanna say four or five times more than what I received. So this is what I received. I also received some 
pom-poms. There's more than this, but just as a rough guideline. There's three, six of these packets that I got. And these are the hooks that I received. This is not even a quarter of what I ordered. And this is all they could send me because this is all they had. So... I've been getting messages from people saying, oh, you know, like not angry messages, but just messages saying, when are you going to restock or when are you going to get more of these? And my answer is, I honestly don't know because stock levels of crochet hooks, knitting needles, anything to do with crafts are like at an all time low at the moment. So I can only get what I can get. But anyway, I'm going to go through today and put these new hooks on my website and on eBay and I have no doubt they'll probably sell out within five seconds because there's just no stock around and everyone is in the same boat like it's not just me but it's just really frustrating when you're trying to run a business and you can't get more stock but anyway what do you do so I am now going to go in and enter all these into my website and we'll see how long they last. Well that's it, I have restocked everything on the website that I was able to restock. Um, I still don't have any 3mm hooks, I don't have any 5mm hooks, I don't have any 6mm hooks, I don't have any 6.5mm hooks, I don't have 7mm, I don't have 8mm, I don't have 9mm, I don't have any hook sets, I have nothing. But what do you do? I think the issue with the clover hooks in general is that clover themselves are just unable to keep up with the demand. Um, I've got two suppliers that supply clover hooks to me and both of them have said that they've ordered from clover multiple times but the orders either just don't come or they come but there's like no stock in there like same thing that's happening to me you order a certain amount and only like a quarter of it comes so it's a really tough time at the moment for people running craft related businesses I mean it is a good thing I suppose in the way that business is booming I suppose like these hooks that I got today will they won't last long they'll probably be lucky to last a couple of days which is great for me but it's also crap because there's such a high demand for the products that I'm selling but I just can't get the stock to be able to sell them so it's like bittersweet, I suppose. Like, yes, I'm grateful that there is that demand, but I'm also frustrated that I can't get the stock to be able to supply that demand. That's just business for you, you know? I'm going to go finish my coffee. I'm going to show you guys where I'm up to on my jumper that I'm knitting because I have come a little bit further than um, the last time you guys would have seen. So let's head over to the couch and I'll show you guys what I'm up to. Alright, so I apologise for the noise today. It's very noisy around here. I've got my washing machine going. There's someone mowing the lawn next door. So I apologise. I'm going to try and edit as much background noise out as I can. Now the heat is on. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, but this is just my reality, you know? It's a constant battle. This is where I'm up to on my flax sweater that I am knitting. So I have finished the body um, and now I'm just completing the ribbing that goes around like the waistband. So it is definitely coming along. As you can see, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. It is definitely not perfect, but guys, this is my first ever knitted anything pretty much. I mean, I have knitted like a scarf before, but I don't even think I finished it to be honest. Um, so this is the first time I'm knitting a jumper, that's for sure, um, or anything other than something that just goes in a straight line. So I'm pretty proud of it, even though it is definitely not perfect. And I also just wanted to mention that in one of my last videos, I mentioned that I had learned the technique of twinking, which is like unknitting your work. 
Um, and I just wanted to clarify that it is actually called tinking. The person who told me to learn that technique told me it was called twinking. So I've been calling it twinking this whole time when actually it's called tinking. And apparently it is called tinking because it is knitting backwards, if that makes sense. So instead of K-N-I-T, it's T-I-N-K, knit, tink. Ah, that makes total sense. And someone had to correct me on one of my last videos because I've been saying it wrong. How embarrassing. I'm new to this, guys. It's all a learning experience. So, yeah, I just thought I would show you guys where I'm up to. It's definitely coming along very nicely. You can see on the sleeve here that it is going to have that garter stitch detail along the sleeve. So, that section there will continue all the way down the sleeve once I get to that point. That is a struggle for another day because I have to try and learn how to use DPN knitting needles, which is going to be a challenge, I think. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's easier than I'm expecting it to be, but we'll see how I go. Alright, so I've had a shower. I'm ready for the day. It's still quite early. I'm kind of proud of myself because I usually don't really start functioning until 11 o'clock and it is 10.45, so not bad. I'm now just going to pack some orders. I feel like I do the same thing in every single vlog, but this is literally just my life, guys. All I do is stay home, I pack orders, every now and then I go to the supermarket. Um, so, you know, like I'm just being realistic here. This is what I do. I'm not going to try and make my life look glamorous because it is far from glamorous, um, especially at the moment because I'm stuck at home. So this is just what I do. So this is what I'm going to show you guys. I wanted to, because I'm packing a couple of orders, I wanted to talk to you guys about packaging. So with Maker, I literally keep the packaging as basic as possible. So these are our mailers that things like hooks or knitting needles go out in. It's just a jiffy padded mailer. Um, we've also got this size for the larger size knitting needles which are obviously longer so they don't fit in the smaller ones. We've then got our satchels which are what we send our tote bags out in or anything that's not damageable like it doesn't really need that much padding and this is just a compostable mail satchel and the reason I use these things to package um, my products and I don't invest in fancy over-the-top beautiful packaging is because I just think it's a waste of money like I receive so many parcels and the packaging is absolutely beautiful but I'm like as a business and as a business owner I can see that the amount of money these businesses put into packaging, I'm like, you could invest that money elsewhere and help grow your business. And that is what I do. Like I spend minimal money on my packaging because number one, I want to save money and I want to invest that money into more things, like better things than packaging. Packaging is not going to grow my business. Buying more stock and investing in more products is going to grow my business. And number two, I'm trying to be as environmentally friendly as I possibly can as a business owner. I cannot say that I'm 100% plastic free because I'm not. And like with the products I sell, I'm going to say that it's pretty much impossible. For instance, knitting needles, they all come packaged like this. I can't control how Knit Pro or Clover package their products. But what I can control is how I package the things that I send out. So... All my satchels are either recyclable, compostable, biodegradable. I still do have a few satchels floating around that aren't recyclable or biodegradable and that is just purely because um, 
I've had them for a really long time and I'm trying to get through them so I no longer have to use them. But as a business, obviously those things cost me money. So I can't bring myself to just throw them out and discard them because they're not recyclable. But moving forward, I am only going to be buying recyclable postage mailers and postage satchels. So either recyclable, biodegradable or compostable. And that is because I want to have as minimal impact on the environment as I possibly can and I think that is so important these days because the amount of plastic that is in landfill is just ridiculous and as I said I cannot control how my manufacturers or how brands like Knit Pro or Clover package their products these are one of this is one of our face masks it is it comes in plastic I can't control that that is how the manufacturer packages it I'm not happy about it but at the same time, there's really not a lot I can do about it. But what I can do is send it out to you guys in a recyclable, biodegradable mailer. So anyway, I just wanted to come on here and say uh, that little spiel about my packaging because I know people probably look at it and think that packaging is ugly or you know what I mean? Like this, people are so judgmental these days that I just feel like people would probably look at my mailer or like receive it in the mail and be like, oh, she probably like could have put a bit more effort into her packaging. But the thing is, guys, I want to be able to invest my money into things that you are going to love more than a pretty envelope. You know, I want to be able to stock more products. I want to be able to come out with more products. I don't want to waste my money on pretty envelopes that cost double or triple what these ones cost and these are way better for the environment. That is my rant over but that's just something I wanted to mention because I've never really spoken about it before. I am now going to package up a couple of orders. I've got one order for one of our face masks and another order for a set of knitting needles. For those of you who haven't seen our face masks this is what they look like. I recently got these made. I had an Aussie digital artist draw up this design and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So cute and I got it printed onto face masks. So I'll show you what they look like. So this is what they look like. They have, which I love, this is my favorite feature about these, they have the adjustable ear loops so you can tighten it or loosen it so it actually fits you properly. I've had a couple of face masks before I got these ones. I just bought a couple of face masks and the ear loops were just either too loose or too tight and they would either cut into my ears or the face mask would just be loose and it's like, well, what's the point? It's not even firm against my face. They also come with a removable filter. So this pocket here, you can either put the filter in or take it out. You can replace it um, if you need to. And the fabric is double lined. These are also super duper soft. Like they're so nice against your face. They don't rub or irritate you at all. Anyway, this video was not supposed to be a sales pitch, but if you want to buy one, head over to www.maker.store. I'll leave the link down below and you can go and grab yourself a face mask. I do ship internationally. You can pay $6 for international shipping. Otherwise, postage within Australia is absolutely free. So go check them out. Alright, so orders are packed. I am now going to walk around to the post box. I have a post box around the corner from me and usually I would drive there because I'm lazy. But um, lately I've been walking around there if it's nice weather and it's actually really nice. I've actually really been enjoying it just to get outside and get some fresh air because obviously being in lockdown, I'm stuck inside all day. So it is actually really nice to get out and get some fresh air. So we're gonna walk around to the post box, post these. Then I, of course, need to go to Coles and I need to go to the post office. I don't know if I'll take you guys with me. We'll see what happens, but you're probably sick of seeing my local supermarket and my local post office because I feel like they're the only two places I take you guys at the moment. So. Anyway, we'll see what happens, but I am going to walk around to the post box, post these parcels, and then we'll just go from there.
Alright, I am home from Coles. I didn't take you guys along with me because I gathered you've seen the inside of a supermarket before and you're probably sick of seeing my supermarket, like I said before. So I decided not to take you. Nothing exciting happened. Um, all I'm going to do now is prepare a snack. I'm going to have some carrots and some hummus, which I'm obsessed with. I eat this all the time. Sometimes like, I can eat like a whole bag of carrots in a day. I don't know if that's good for you or not. I probably shouldn't eat a whole bag of carrots, but I figure it's better than eating like a block of chocolate or something, right? Hey guys, it is now Wednesday. Um, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because I literally have nothing fun to do today. Not that this vlog has included anything fun, really. <laughs> um, so I am going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you will be notified of all my future videos. Um, but until next time, I'm going to go edit this video. It will be up later tonight and I will see you next time. Thanks again, guys. Bye.